Welcome back to Rhapsody of Realities. We are moving on with today's beautiful message Amen. titled, Praise Recognize Lord. His Grace. Amen. Pastor Chris continued to teach us. He's saying, this grace causes favor and glory to abound in your life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. He says, for example, when the Lord Jesus was a child, the Bible says, he grew and walked strong in spirit, Hallelujah. filled with wisdom, Praise and the God. grace of God was upon him. Amen. That is taken from Luke 2, 40. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He continues saying, grace made him, even as a child, to have favor with God and men. Hallelujah. That can also be found in Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So the grace of God will give you favor with men Amen. and God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So actually, it, it, the grace of God doesn't look even at the age. It says no. here that it located him when he was a child. When he was a child. Praise God. Hallelujah. The grace of God will give you favor. It doesn't matter how old you are, Amen. it has nothing to do with your status or the title you hold in community. When the grace of God is upon you, the favor of God in men will follow you. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that actually means, even if you are a child, doesn't matter how old you are, the grace of God will still locate you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Pastor Chris goes on saying, grace made him, even as a child, to have favor with God and men. Praise and the Lord. And that is taken from Luke 2.52. Hallelujah. God. In the book of Acts, Barnabas went to visit certain brethren, and the Bible says, when he came and had seen the grace of God, was glad and exhorted them all. That Hallelujah. can be found in the book of Acts chapter Praise 11, verse 23. Praise the Lord. Pastor Chris is saying, what was it that Barnabas saw? It Hallelujah. certainly wasn't a light beaming out of their heads. Amen. He saw the beauty of God. Hallelujah. He saw things working out excellently in the lives of oh. these brethren. Hallelujah. Praise God. And you know, viewers, this is our year of favor. And favor is the outworking of grace. Praise God. Mm -hmm. The grace of God on your life is the divine ability. Amen in you to be successful in every endeavor Praise God. and you are to grow in the grace Amen. hallelujah praise the lord peter second peter chapter 3 verse 18 the bible says grow in grace and in the knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ amen. it means you can grow in grace amen hallelujah praise the lord, praise the lord. The message continue. Pastor say, grace is the power of promotion. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is the thing that causes your life to move from one level to another. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's why the scripture admonishes that you grow in grace. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, like you earlier mentioned that this year is our year of favor. Amen. And favor being the outworking of grace. I can only encourage you viewers out there to make sure that you lambano that grace for that so that that favor can, upon, can come upon your life and it will help you to excel in life. Praise it will help Lord. you to succeed in all your plans and goals for this year. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you need promotion in your job, Pastor say, grace is the power of promotion. Amen. Go ahead and lambano that promotion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Every child of God has been given grace. In abundance. Amen. It is taken from Romans chapter 5, verse 17. Hallelujah. But the degree to which you let it reflect is up to you. Amen. So you have to set you set the standard. Hallelujah. The reflection, how you want to it to reflect in your life, is Amen. up to you. Amen. You set the level. So it, the has, it was given to us in abundance. Yes. So you wouldn't say, I didn't do this or I couldn't achieve this because I had less of it. It, no. it was given to all of us. Yes. All of us. Yes. As long as you are born again, that grace is given to you in abundance. Praise as God. said in the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 17. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you are also encouraged to grow in grace. Amen. Hallelujah. The more you fill your heart with God's word Hallelujah. and have the Holy Spirit work in your life, Amen. the greater the grace of God that will be manifested in your life. Praise, Praise the Lord. So, so the word of God, the study of the word of God will increase grace in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. We are moving on to our confession now. Amen. And we would like you to come with us. Repeat after me. Praise God. Say, I'm growing in grace. I'm growing in grace. 
and in the knowledge and in the knowledge of my lord and savior of my lord and savior jesus christ jesus christ the beauty of god the beauty of god in my spirit in my spirit is showing forth is showing forth on the outside on the outside evidently evidently manifested manifest for all to see for all to see excellent excellence glory glory and virtue virtue and success and success are the hallmarks are the hallmarks of my life of my life because because the grace of God because the grace of God is super abundant is super abundant upon me upon me hallelujah praise the lord jesus hallelujah now i want you to take your bible and look for this following further studies the first one is taken from second peter chapter 1 verse 2 hallelujah and the second one is from john chapter 1 verse 16 praise the lord praise god if you are following the one year bible reading plan you have to read in Luke chapter 15, verse 11 to 32, as well as in Ruth chapter 1 to 4. Amen. But if you prefer the two-year Bible reading plan, I, you should read in Mark chapter 2, verse 23 to 28, Amen. as well as in Leviticus chapter 16. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Wow, wow, wow. We had such a good time sharing the Word of God with you today. Amen. And we encourage you to get your own Rhapsody every month. Hallelujah. Because it's available in so many formats. Yes. We have hard copies, we have audio and e-format. We also have it in different languages. Amen. We want to thank God for Pastor Chris and Pastor Anita for making this devotional available to us in all formats Amen. and in so many languages of the world. I encourage you to follow us on Yukos on the page of Rhapsody of Realities. Make sure that you post your comments and share your testimonies. Amen. What's your favorite devotional for the week? Hmm. Yes. You have an opportunity to share it with the world. Log on to the Rhapsody of Realities group on YouCourse. www.ucourse.com slash community slash Rhapsody of Realities. Post your comments and watch out for it on your favorite devotional program, Rhapsody of Realities. Through your favorite devotional program this month of April, you'll be inspired to take action. You have planned. You've set the targets for the year of favor. Now put action to your word as you join us every day this month of April. Don't miss a single day. And all the way from Namibia, we say, keep, keep reading, reading your Rhapsody of, of Realities. God bless you. It's the world's number one of its class. Thoughtfully laid out by inspiration. All assembled to create the grand design of your imagination and take you from dreams to realities. The Rhapsody of Reality's daily devotional, straight out of heaven. Call now to place your order or log on to our website, 